Hello everyone. Let us learn the ventricles of the brain. All the three ventricles like lateral ventricles, third ventricle and the fourth ventricle we are learning in separate videos. And this video we will see only about the third ventricle in detail. What are ventricles of the brain? Ventricles of the brain, these are the cavities which are located inside the brain. So the cerebrum contains two lateral ventricles in each hemisphere. And there is a median cavity called as third ventricle. The third ventricle will continue below as fourth ventricle. Functionally, these ventricles are secreting cerebrospinal fluid. And also initially the CSF secreted from the ventricle will be circulated in, in the ventricles. Then the CSF will be entering to the subarachnoid space from the fourth ventricle. From this picture, from both view, anterior view and lateral view, it is very clear to see all the ventricles. Both lateral ventricles in each hemisphere, in the midline, third ventricle and below the diamond shaped fourth ventricle. Now let us learn in detail about third ventricle. First you identify the third ventricle in both anterior view and the lateral view. The third ventricle is the median cavity situated between the right and left thalamus. And this third ventricle is considered as the cavity of diencephalon. The third ventricle communicates on either side with the lateral ventricle. This communication between third ventricle and both lateral ventricles this communication is called as interventricular foramen and posteriorly the third ventricle will continue to the cerebral aqueduct and this cerebral aqueduct opens into fourth ventricle the third ventricle shows a roof above and a floor below and there are two lateral walls on either side Two thalamae, that is right and left thalamae, are usually connected by a band of grey matter called as interthalamic connectus or interthalamic adhesion. This interthalamic connectus passes through the third ventricle in order to connect right and left thalamae. Because right and left thalamae are located on either side of third ventricle and these two are connected by interthalamic connectus. Anterior wall of the third ventricle is formed by lamina terminalis and also contributed by anterior commissure and columns of phonix. Lamina terminalis is the gray matter that is between optic chiasma and the corpus callosum. Anterior commissure is the white matter which connects right and left temporal lobes. And phonix is formed by the white matter which connects hippocampus and mammillary bodies. So these are the structures related to the anterior wall. Anterior commissure, lamina terminalis and the phonix. And the posterior wall is formed by pineal body, posterior commissure and habanula commissure. And the floor is related to optic chiasma, infundibulum and mammillary bodies. And also this part will be related to the posterior perforated substance and tegmentum of the midbrain. So these are the structures related to the flow. The roof of the third ventricle is found by ependyma which is related or which is lying across the two thalami, right and left thalami. And also we can appreciate the tela choroidae and choroid plexus which are related to the roof of the third ventricle. The choroid plexus are the vascular plexus which are covered by ependyma and also the pia mater. So this choroid plexus is the source of CSF. The choroid plexus of the third ventricle is found by the posterior choroidal branches of posterior cerebral artery. In this picture it is clear that the CSF secreted from the lateral ventricle will be passing through the interventricular foramen to the third ventricle. And from the third ventricle, again CSF will be added from the choroid plexus of third ventricle and the, this bulk of CSF will be passing through the cerebral aqueduct or aqueduct of sylvius to the fourth ventricle. And from the fourth ventricle, 
This CSF will be passing through the foramen lusque and mesentery to the subarachnoid space. Thank you for watching this video clip. So the rest of the parts of ventricles of the brain, that is fourth ventricle and the lateral ventricles, with the CSF secretion and circulation, we will learn in other video clips.